So that's helpful. Um, knowledge is key. Um, the more you know, the easier it is for the transaction. Um, relationship with their processor or underwriter is uh, another good thing. Um, if they have a good relationship, they'll they'll know right away um, if there are other outstanding conditions or if there's something um, that you've submitted that you know throws a red flag or something. They'll they'll know right away, so you can get communication back to the client almost instantaneous. So knowledge, ability to communicate, um, relationship, and speed of knowing, uh, getting a decision. And another thing is is that um, I know it's really hard to, at first hand, it's really hard to tell your borrower you're declined. Um, I think uh, as long as the clients know that you know ahead of time, I think it's a lot easier than to wait till the last minute and say, "Hey, I'm sorry, but we're not going to be able to get you this loan." Um, it just it's a thing that you know if you get it, give it to them up front, they can actually try a different lender or a different mortgage broker or whatnot, and you know try and actually purchase that home instead of losing your earner's money or you know having to litigate for it. Definitely, if you've been in um, the same industry for two years, we'll count every single employer that you've actually um, had in the last two years, so in the previous two years. Um, there's an instance where I had a used car salesman. Um, he went to 10 different lots within a three year period. Um, and all that income was it. we were able to use because he was in the same industry, same position. Um, definitely you're gonna see a little bit um, higher than you know someone that has a credit score of 750 or you know 800. Um, it's gonna be different um, and it you're only going to be able to qualify for a certain amount of programs um, compared to the person that has a 750 credit score they're going to be able to qualify for many different programs um, well basically if they call me the very first time I'm going to try and ask as many questions as I can um, to get to know what the borrower is thinking um, when they they're purchasing their home, if it's a first, if it's their first home, then I want to make sure that they are satisfied with the program that they choose, um, and that they are satisfied with the payment that they want to pay. Um, I don't want them to ever feel dissatisfied with anything. Um, so I guess um, the first time I ever talk to someone, it's going to be um, me asking questions. So basically, um, what realtors can do um, is check with their clients, uh, previous clients, and see if they actually went with Bank of America for their loan. Um, if they did, it's a great way to ask for referrals from that client, and it's a great way to service them also. Um, they can actually see if they qualify for the Making Home, Home Affordable program, and it can actually allow them to lower their interest rate and or their term. Um, or if they were on a five-year arm, it allows them to go to a 30-year fix, and it's really easy to qualify. Um, all we do is pull your credit. As long as you have a job, your debt-to-income ratio doesn't really matter unless it's over 100%. Um, those are the two main things that we look for, and it just goes through the same underwriting process, um, and the, that's the main key is, is as long as you have a job, and as long as you have, you know, somewhat credit, um, it doesn't matter what your credit score is. Actually, you can have a 200 credit score and still qualify for the program. So, and um, that's making home affordable. Correct. Okay. One thing that I've run into um, a lot, and it's very difficult to ask the customer, but. 
Um, Bank of America actually requires a deposit up front when we take the application. So it, when we um, when we receive the fully executed purchase and sales agreement, um, that's when the actual loan process begins. Um, and that's when I actually finalize the application to submit to our um, underwriting team. Um, at that time, we ask for a deposit depending on the loan size or the home value. It may differ. Um, your average um, home under 750, um, we're going to ask for a deposit of $535, which is the appraisal fee and the credit report fee. Um, we'll, we'll ask that f uh, for that at the time of application. And a lot of cl clients are reluctant to um, give, them, give, the, give us their information. Um, we actually um, have two ways of collecting the deposit, and that's Visa or MasterCard. And we just plug those numbers into our system, and that's, that, that's done. Um, and it's really difficult for us to actually ask the client for that credit card because um, nowadays with uh, identity theft and you know all the all those things um, if, if you're not face to face uh, if you're doing it over the phone it's really difficult to ask or um, but we do actually require that upfront at the time of application Um, there's not really ways around the system. Um, it's really how hard you fight with the system um, and definitely I will fight my hardest every time. Um, I don't want to ever see a borrower lose their earnest money because of me. Um, that's, that's, I really won't be able to live you know, day to day with that on my conscience. So. Um, I will actually fight tooth and nail until we either get an approval or if we have to issue a decline then we will I'll actually have them you know issue that decline letter as soon as possible so that they can actually recover their earnest money excellent that's huge I mean that's a big thing and um, that may set you apart from other loan mortgage brokers essentially who who really um, make a lot of promises that they can't keep and I don't suppose you would ever make a promise you couldn't keep. Um, I try not to make promises <laughs> because promises are made to be broken but um, I try, um, I'll try. i try my best to service the client. It, if that means that I have to refer them off to a, a fellow you know, loan officer then be, so be it. Um, if I can't do the loan I'm definitely not going to you know, hold on to the client and and disservice them. I'm just going to try and find someone that actually can do the loan um, and make sure it gets done. Uh, phone or email, yes, definitely. Okay, and both of those are on the screen right now. So telephone or email and uh, give Jimmy a call. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Your pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was good. You got good stuff in there. Great. Bye.